Hello. Hello, hello. How is everyone doing? Welcome in. Uh, hello. Hello, hello. Oh, wait. Why can't I hear myself? That was embarrassing. I hope nobody else heard that. <laughs> I think I just uh, forget to, forgot to mute my own stream, apparently. As if I've never done this before. <laughs> hey, Katie, how are you doing? Uh, yes, let's tangle these towers. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Uh, let's see. How is the sound? You should be able to hear the game. Is it too loud? That might be the other, other side of the issue. I'm stumbling over my world, words already. Um, let's see. What do the settings say? Okay, we can turn everything down. Oh no! I hope everything stays safe. Don't want to lose you in the snow. Hello, Keffel. Thank you, and welcome. Okay, so I think we're ready to start. I have no idea what's gonna happen. I did start the game for like two minutes. I don't think we missed anything at the start, but we can also create a new file. Let's just do that, shall we? Let's just... Whoa. Yeah. I don't think there was anything happening there. I just wanted to check if it works. So let's go in. The beginning. Uh, I have to... It's definitely a bit loud for me. I need to th be able to think. <laughs> okay. Oh, I like her. She's cool. Lake's Edge. Oh, I think that really was all that happened the first time. Okay, does that mean I'm supposed to click on her? You ready, Sally? Oh, there's voice acting. Great. Grimoire, I've been standing here for seven and a half minutes. Yeah, I like her. Just checking. You have the map? Uh, yeah, but it's basically blank. Okay. Did you read the case file? What do you think? Oh. I'm not sure yet. It's really not a lot to go on. Did you read it? <laughs> yeah, I'll read it on the way to the crime scene. Why does that voice sound so familiar to me? Okay, case file. Oh, there was a murder! Okie dokie. Murder victim, Freya Fellow, 19. Uh, died was painting a portrait of Flora Fellow, 58. Location, Flora's Tower. Flora was present as she was posing for a portrait. Freya Fellow was found lying on her back with a single stab, wound, stab wound on her chest. No weapon was found at the scene, but the subject of Freya's unfinished painting is holding a knife. The red color on the tip of the knife is not paint. It was dis discovered to be blood. So, in the painting, somebody is holding a knife? Am I getting this right? Honestly, yeah, the music is really fun. I like it. Uh, okay, we have a case file. What's this? Uh... Tangled Tower, a small painting on a scrap of paper. A few notes have been written on the back. Nowadays it goes by Tangled Tower, but it's actually a pair of towers connected by a mansion at the base. It is surrounded by a circular lake. The water is an unusual mix of colors. Uh, where did it? The lake is enclosed by, sh by sheer pale cliffs. They're too steep and smooth to climb. Tangle Tower is currently home to both the Fallow family and the Pointer family. Okay, and that's the case file. Okay, okay, okay. Is this something? Freya. This is our dead girl. 
No, no, I have not played any of these games. That's why I'm feeling a bit out of my depth. But Katie was so nice to give me this game because she likes it so much. And now I'm trying not to disappoint them <laughs> by being a failure. Uh, there was a map. I'm actually nervous <laughs> about playing a game. <laughs> this is funny. Okay, so we can't see anything because we haven't been anywhere. This is so fun. Okay, this is absolutely... <laughs> okay, so there's just like references to other games. That's cool. Oh, Grimora is like the the, 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 the guy in red. So there's like a, a, a whole series. That's so cool. Yeah, if you if there's like references we don't recognize, I'd be apt to learn. Ooh, there's stuff. Can we click it's on them? It's the same weird water that was in the lake. Okay. Any fish in there? Not a single one. Hmm. Although there is something in there. Is there? It's a cassette tape. Oh, and the water. That's not good. Or it used to be. Um. Yeah, that doesn't look good. The cassette tape has been damaged by water. The ink on the label is blurred and illegible. Well, I guess we found a clue or just garbage. But it's good it's out of the pond. We don't need that in there. It's a statue of some hideous, <laughs> scaly, bipedal fish monster. That's a bit rude. Playing a harp. Playing a harp. Hang on a second. What are we looking at? I mean... Ooh! This isn't just a regular statue, is it? <laughs> okay, Seekers of a Swamp. Cool. Something tells me we're not going to solve this just yet. I mean, solving a puzzle like that requires clues that we don't have. Let's come back later. Yeah. But it's it must fun something. that we found it. I mean, I feel you like it's so, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. An old weathered statue of an amphibious creature holding a large harp. Symbols are engraved on each of the harp's four column segments. Fun. I feel like it had maybe something to do with a huge head, but that's just a guess. Can we click on everything? And it's full of the same weird water. Oh, we did that. Not a single oh, there it's a cassette Sorry. Tape. Or it used to be. Yeah, we found that already. Sorry. I guess one clue for one location. Okay. Let's see. It's a stone carving. Wonder how it got cracked. I think it's supposed to look like that. It's an egg. I think I'm getting distracted by just uh, looking at everything. What animal is that? But I. Yeah. Okay. 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 You're right. I feel like I haven't huh. played a lot of point Bear of click. Lizard. Point. Point and click. Why is my brain not working? Right. Of course. A hawk bear lizard. Yeah, I mean, that sounds right. Okay. Um, this is so mushrooms. Do the plants I like look it. a little strange to you? Maybe a little. It's a bandstand. It's small oh. for a bandstand. It's a one man bandstand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm supposed to click everything. I'm glad. This is some garden. Oh, okay. That's the same a thing. Strange to you? It's a path through the garden. Leads yeah. up to the house, I assume. How do we move on? Oh, do I just I use the map, don't I? I feel like... I don't want to miss anything. It's quiet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have really good banter. I like it. You're supposed to say... It's not. It's an appropriate amount of quiet. <laughs> I really like them. The pond has little stone feet. Uh, seems a bit superfluous. No, it seems just right. You're superfluous. 
I want to punt with little stone feet. It's no, I think that's a path. Leads okay. up to the house. Yeah. I assume. This is some garden. Okay. The plants all look a little strange to you. The plants are strange. The pond has a weird harp playing amphibious thing with a code. Uh, I mean, I haven't Spooky. even clicked the big thing. What do you think it's for? I think it's to scare away detectives. Is it working? <laughs> no. Uh-uh. We're not scared. Spooky. Okay, what do you that's think the same it's thing. I think it's okay, just okay, okay. I don't want the game to repeat itself no. constantly, but... At the same time, I need to make sure I don't miss anything. But I assume I also can go back if I've missed something. I want to do good at this game. I want to do... Is it do well? I, I never know. <laughs> okay, let's just... Let's move on. We've ne not even seen the crime scene yet. I feel like there's a, a point for us being here. I mean, there's an O missing oh. from the thing. What? Oh, there's an O on the floor. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh yeah, Tangle Tour. Tour. Okay, I can't move it back in there. What's this? Yeah, there's a heart engraved in the tree. I didn't know people actually did that. PPFF. Huh? Isn't the other family called Pointer? And it's Freya Fellow and Flora Fellow. Hmm, intriguing. Do I need to take notes? Or is this stuff enough? I feel like... Is that an envelope? It's been opened. Let's read it. Isn't that an invasion of someone's privacy? No, oh, definitely. Yeah. Okay, the envelope has been ripped open. There's a single piece of paper inside. Oh yeah, of course. First try, everything has to be perfect. This is how my brain works. So thanks for the encouragement. <laughs> um, the combination is drawn on the other sheet. Okay, you didn't keep. Okay, 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 okay. Everything required. That's good. That means I don't have to be scared of not knowing important things. The only issue is with trying to take notes while I'm pointing and clicking is that I need the hand to write with <laughs> that also uses the point and click mouse device. So uh, <laughs> I'm definitely getting distracted. Cool. This is gonna be easy. <laughs> Uh, right, the combination is drawn on the other sheet. Once you have it memorized, destroy it. I do not agree with your reasons. We will not find it down there. Ooh, down where? And a combination... Mm? A combination to the thing in the water, maybe. Uh, this statue looks... Think start to move if we try to go inside. <laughs> no, I think he'll just silently judge us. Okay. Little bird feeders. How do you those... know they're for birds? Good question. Looks like someone tried to chop it down, but then gave up. Can you blame them? Is that like the roots of a tree? Anything a path here? Leading towards the stone square. Okay, that's not super helpful. It's red, but I don't think it's painted. Then how is it red? Is that wood then? It's just red. <laughs> okay, that answers my question. Should we ring the doorbell? Why would we not? Oh. Okay, that doorbell is a bit too long. It's a little melody. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna remember that. There's a melody. Um. Uh, anything else? Anything else? That's a fence. Which one do you think came first? The tree or the house? The age-old question. <laughs> A path leading towards the okay, stone okay, square. Okay, okay, okay. It's red, but I don't think it's painted. Okay, paste yes. Red. It's red. Don't think it's locked. Oh, that means we can just walk straight in, right? I'm pretty sure that's the rule, yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's see what our map is saying. 
something about a stone square and inside of the house. Now we have to also make decisions? Oh. Oh dear. I mean, my instinct would be to first go to the stone square to finish off. Let's head to the crime scene first. Okay, fine. It's at the top of the west tower, I think. Okay, fine. Wait, do I have to know where West is? Oh, they have the same entrance way? Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's the illusion of choice, you're right. It's like, mm, Sally, check not really. Plants for clues. Is soil a clue? Sally, the same check one? Those plants. Yeah. <laughs> Is soil a clue? Okay. A big letter F. Of course. Who doesn't hang a giant banner of their initial in the lobby of their mansion? Sounds absolutely reasonable. I don't know what you mean. This one has a big P. That's P probably important. <laughs> yeah, it sounds very important. How very P perceptive of you. Well, it's a big glass tube filled with There water. are weeds in there. And sand. But no fish. It's an aquarium? Could be, except there's nothing living in it. <laughs> Very big P energy. Anymore. That was ominous. Finally, we get to investigate a murder in a spooky mansion. <laughs> there has to be a P organ it's up there. Not that spooky, really. Don't ruin this. It's a bit spooky, honestly. What is that? It's a family tree. I think it's a family tree. Oh, wow, that's one hell of a family tree. Okay, 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 okay. This is family related. It is, right? Lord and Lady Fellow. Did Lord Fellow marry again? Felicia and Freya. Wait, who was... Who was being painted? Fiona? I don't remember, that's great. Maybe I should take notes. <laughs> Just for all the important... Oh, I can't... Oh, of course I can click. I'm a Lord bit fellow. of a dum-dum, I think. Looks like he was married twice. Oh, thanks. It's good that the game explains the stuff t to me that I wonder about, but can't think to click. <laughs> it, I'm so glad you're here. I really... Lady fellow. You're right, you're right. I'm still gonna allow it. <laughs> Do these people not have first names? I shouldn't be so mean to myself. This is just new to me. Okay. Selena Stonetop. Stonetop. No family line. Apparently, she just appeared out of nowhere. Interesting. Who are they? Lord Remington. Yeah, it, the game knows what I'm Sounds what I'm thinking cool. about. It's like the game was made for my brain, apparently. Lady Remington. I think I have one of those in my bathroom. <laughs> Sure, um... Lord Pointer. This goes back a couple of generations. And Lady, lady Pointer. Pointer. How do you become a lady? I want to be a lady. Okay, and... I was the first generation. We don't know anything about the Remingtons. Because it's the Fellows and the Pointers who have like the two... Separated thingies. I, I know what I'm talking about. Okay, so... Lord and Lady Fellow had two children. Flint Fellow. A purebred fellow, if there ever was one. Married a randomer, though. Do you think he still lives here? He married someone. Emily Everstone. Okay. Emily Everstone. Do you think she still lives here? Okay, it's the same thing all over and over again. So, Felix. Felix Fellow. Looks like he married his way into the Remington family. Do you think he still lives here? Okay, that's 
all the same things. Cool. So... Flora Remington? Flora Remington. I think she's mentioned in our case file. Okay. Is she the one who's being painted? Primrose Remington. I always like the name Primrose. Do you think she still lives here? Okay, all of those are the same things, Richard but let's click them anyway. Remington. The one and only. Oh, is that someone special? Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not doing this in an orderly fashion at all. So these guys got married. Percival Pointer. He married into the Remington family. Do you think he still lives here? So the Pointer family and the Fallow family is connected by the Remington family. Okie dokie. Buck Brackley. That's an awful name. What a name. Do you think he still Thank lives you. <laughs> Thank you, game. <laughs> Pandora. Pandora Pointer. All this alliteration isn't happening by accident, is it? I assume it's not. She still lives but here? that makes it very confusing. Because we had like that tree with like FF and PP. That could be anyone in this family. Oh, not everyone. But a lot of people could be meant by that heart on a tree. Penelope Pointer. Half Pointer, half Brackley. Do you think <laughs> she still lives here? Okay. And Poppy. Poppy Pointer. She's half Remington. Do you think she still lives here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're very right. At least a lot of people are PPs in this family tree. Uh... Who did we miss? I think the, the second... Felicia Fellow. Okay. Okay. She still lives here. Freya is the victim. Damien Dusk. Whoa. Is it too late to change my name to Detective Dusk? That's a good name. It's Freya's father. Do you think he still lives here? It's definitely be better than... Hang on. All of these names. No. Not all of these names. All names but the Remington family have the same double or uh, have double initials. I just realized because Fitz fellow. I'm not gonna be mean to myself. I'm just a bit overwhelmed. Half fellow, half Everstone. Do you think he still lives here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, did I miss Fiona? Maybe. Fiona fellow. Dead center. She must be important. Yes, I half miss her. She's half fellow and half Remington. Do you think she still lives here? Okay. So. Are these people cousins? Maybe. Anyways, there's a lot of names. I'm assuming some of them are going to be important. Some of them are going to be dead. Or maybe not, actually. That's just, like, grandparents. So that's not that far away, actually. Who knows? Okay. Well, this looks pretty. Finally, we get to invest. Oh, okay. It's not that spooky. Don't ruin this. Okay. So... There's a door down here. It's not locked. Interesting. Finally, we get... It's not that spooky. Don't okay. ruin this. We've established that it's kind of spooky, but not that really. So this is the little room here. I think we're supposed to go up. Wait, how am I going up this way? The game seems to indicate this is where we have to go. So let's just do it. Let's see. Scene of the crime. Let's go. Oh, that looks some kind of way. There's a Fabergé egg. First. Okay, fine. There it is, the unfinished portrait of Flora Fellow. Okay, Flora. So what? Freya was killed halfway through painting it. Looks that way. Freya was unable to finish the painting as she died sometime during the process. Flora appears to be wielding a knife. The red substance on the tip was discovered to be blood. Yikes. Okay. Cool. I wonder if all of Freya's paintings are this creepy. <laughs> Maybe it's just because she never got to finish it. There's something wrong with the crime scene. 
and something really weird about the murder weapon. We didn't find a murder weapon. Okay. Oh, what's happening now? There's something very strange about how Freya was killed. Uh, something was used to kill because Freya did something else. Okay. Ooh. Uh, right. So, we have these options. I assume this is, like, one sentence we're trying to build? I mean, this could be about Flora and holding a knife tip with blood. Because Freya put it there. Hmm. Is that the thing? Okay, well, the issue is right now. So this might not be the issue right now, though. So I assume this is like the leading question. So this is about how Freya was killed. So this might not be about uh, the painting. Okay, 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 okay. I would have liked to look at the scene a bit more. <laughs> hmm. Okay. It's hidden inside? Is it maybe about the murder weapon? I think we were talking about that. Hmm. I was going to eat it. What would she have been eating? Okay, that makes no sense. The eating thing makes no sense. Freya stole it? It was removed from the scene? I put it there because it stabbed Freya. Could she have been stabbed by a paintbrush? Hmm. Let's try it. Paintbrush is completely covered in blood because it stabbed Freya. Nope. <laughs> okay. So this is completely... Okay. Was the painting somehow involved in an attack on Freya? How would a painting be involved? I'm confused. Okay, 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 okay. So this was completely wrong. So the painting... Is... Holding a knife tipped with blood? I mean, that's kind of obvious, right? Because Freya put it there? Flora's portrait is holding a knife tipped with blood because Freya put it there. Almost. Maybe just change one thing. Okay, one thing. Oh, we're just stating the weird facts right now. Okay, maybe I'm just overthinking it. That might really be... Maybe it's red paint, but we discovered it was. Flora's portrait is holding a knife tipped with red <sighs> paint because Freya put it there. That's not right. Okay, uh, I think there's blood on the knife in the painting. Could that possibly? Wait, wait, no. Was she was she knocked out with her own painting? No, but that can't work because we don't have the right answer. Because you can't stab someone with a painting, right? Oh, you're right. There was only one thing off and I completely 
got distracted. Oh, you're right. The paintbrush is completely covered in blood because it stabbed Freya. That's not right either. Oh, wait. What did I have before? Oh, I feel like I'm staring right at the answer, but I don't know what it is. Oh, this is not my scientific explanation. I had the painting on blood? Oh, you're right. Because... It's about what's weird about this. <sighs> okay, I had the painting. It was completely covered in blood. So far... I mean, yeah, that can't be it. I don't think that's it either. And we said this wasn't it, but it's almost it. So, it, like, it has to be the stabbing one. Flora's portrait is completely covered in just... blood because it stabbed Freya. Almost. Oh Let's no! Just change one thing. Okay, we're still on the almost part. Oh. Laura's portrait is holding a knife to I had a different thing here. Stabbed yeah. I forgot what I had and what? Weird, huh? <laughs> okay. This is what we're doing. Painting. We're Not being by outlandish. The from the painting, but by the painting itself. Mhm. Mm Freya was standing right up by the canvas okay. she was killed. There's blood on the knife. I think I didn't the realize. Weapon. Right. But it's not actually a knife. How? Stab. See any other Wild. around here? The theories would be. Case closed. The case is not closed. <laughs> and even if you were right, where does that I leave us? I was not in the right Painting mindset, I think. <laughs> I didn't know how weird Grimoire is. Okay. An unfinished painting. Continue. Thank you for talking me through this. I definitely did not realize how to approach it. So I guess now I can look at everything. <laughs> Which is fine. Okay. Uh, let's look is at that the weird egg? thing. An egg with bird feet. Yeah, an egg with bird feet. It's also covered in gemstones. What a completely ordinary object. <laughs> oh, look. I think it's a container for something. It looks puzzly. Those gems look like they come off. Swap the position of the gems. Rotate the egg to see a clue on the back. Nope. Did you what? check the clue on the back of the egg? I'm pretty sure it explains where to put each of the gemstones. Uh, oh, this is rotating. Yeah, reset I think. The puzzle? Oh no no no! Not reset. How do I wrote? Oh. Okay. 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 This is. Okay. I have to. Oh, I see. Okay. I see which way it goes. Oh, I'm not gonna remember that. Let's just start somewhere. These two. There's a red one and a blue one. It's this one. And this one. Maybe. Then this one's supposed to be blue too. And let's see. There's a green and a pink. A green. Wait, is that pink or is that pink? Yeah, that one's the pink. Okay, 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 okay. This is riveting, I'm, I'm sure. But... We've got these ones. So, further up... There is a yellow. 
And I'm not sure if that's the next one. Oh, it's connected to this bl blue one in the middle. Oh, wait, it's not the same. Oh, it's to say I solved it. Okay, yeah, I didn't realize what it meant. It's pointing at it, so I, I figured I had to do it, but... Okay, this is definitely not the same lines now that I look at it again. Why not? Why? Huh. These two. Or these two. So it's actually... Hmm. Well, these two are still right. This one, there's a blue here and a purple. <laughs> Hi, singing cattle. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to crack the egg. I feel like I'm not very good at it. Okay, this. Hang on. That's it. Okay. The short end is red, and the longer end is this. Then we have this one, which is this one. It's both pinks. Um, this one is a yellow and a purple. With that little squiggle, like so. And this one, the longer edge is... Oh, wait. Thing is, now I want to be sure that what I've done is even remotely correct. Without clicking the lock, of course. Uh, okay. I feel like... Yes, these two were this one. This is the long one, with the thick line. This one... was that way? This is, I'm sure, super interesting for everybody. Though, I feel like... You know what? I want a golden crested dinosaur, let's hope. We're, we're, you're right, and that's what's in there. Uh, short and this, long a bit. Which one did I check? This one was just two purples. This is this one. And this is the last one. And that's also right. I'm just gonna try it. I got it. I'm impressed. Oh, did I get it? Oh, it did. Oh, that's great. Okay. Oh no, not dinosaur mayo. Nothing. I'm not leaving without a clue. An empty egg's a clue, right? It sure is a clue. Once unlocked, the egg can be opened. It's currently empty. The lining of the egg is a soft velvet-like material. The egg is supported by a stand made of brass. It rests on three strange feet with pointed claws. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um, cool. Let's look at this stuff. Supposedly, Freya was working on the painting when she was killed. Looks like she was still holding her paintbrush and palette when she fell. Didn't even get a chance to clean her brush. The palette has a var variety of paints loaded onto it. The largest blob is a the largest is a blob of black in the middle. The paintbrush is still covered with dried red paint. Are we calling this black? It looks a bit green to me. <laughs> the contents are, of the egg are loose. We need to find them. Supposedly, Freya was working on the. Okay. Like she was still holding. Didn't the even get a chance to oh, clean wait, her brush. Okay. That's the same thing. I guess we can't click on here. 
<laughs> I never know how to say that. The name of the whale. I need to look that up. Is that a gramophone? It is a gramophone. Except it's got a tape deck instead of a turntable. A tape deck. It's also got a big crack down the middle. I mean, I'm gonna assume it's not gonna work. It plays cassette tapes instead of vinyl records. It's pointed towards the middle of the room. There's a noticeable crack running through it all. All the way from the horn down to the tape deck. Blow high? Okay. What about the cassette tape? Uh, yeah, sure it is. Dang. To Freya. The cassette tape has a crack down the middle. There's a handwritten message on the label to Freya. It's very cute looking cas cassette tape. Do you think it still works? Oh, it's high as shark in Swedish too? That's cool. A gramophone? Yeah, we could give it a go. Wait. What was it doing? <laughs> what are we giving a go? I was not listening. Am I gonna... I mean, I have to talk to her, right? Why does she look Flora. like an alien? Hello? <laughs> she looks like... Hey, sorry to barge in. I'm sure you're still in some distress. <laughs> We need to ask oh, she's a, a few questions, I'm afraid. Did you witness the murder, Flora? Uh, Nothing. Cool. What do we do? Not sure. She's entitled to her silence, I suppose. Yes, she Hello. looks like a Kaminoan. I was thinking of like the the older Clone Wars uh, animated show has like this kind of style, and she looks like a Kaminoan. Oh, wait. What was I doing? Am I clicking things? I'm totally clicking things. Oh. Flora fellow? Oh, wait. I'm a dumb. Nine. I'm not saying that again. I'm just distracted. Which I'm sure is perfectly normal, and everybody has a brain that works like this. Is there anything you'd like to tell us, Flora? I don't really know anything about you at all. I think that's the way she likes it. We'll just have to ask other people about her. Yeah, okay. Okay. Freya was painting your portrait yesterday. Is that right? Was, was this that something you had planned with her ahead of time? Was there something special about yesterday? Did you talk to Freya at all while she was painting you? She's not going to answer us, is she? Nope. Uh -uh. But at least we can say we tried. Yeah, okay. Flora, you were definitely in the room at the time of the murder. Surely you must have seen something? Can you tell me anything about what happened to Freya? Does she have her own wind machine? Yeah, she's acting pretty suspicious, if you ask me. I don't know. Maybe she really doesn't know anything. How is that possible? Oh, this is fascinating. What's this? I can't click it, I assume, because there's chains. Okay. This was a very enlightening interview. We did so well. Freya's painting supplies. Small glass pots of red, yellow, blue, black, and white paint. The glass pots are all cracked down one side. Hmm. Why do I feel like there was some kind of blast of very loud sound that cracked the paint pots and the gramophone? But that doesn't explain the, the death. I don't know. <laughs> it just looks like it. I don't Freya's know. Paint it, supplies. It, it might be nothing. This is just wild theorizing. Uh, okay. Do we need to click anything else? It's a big open window. I don't know yes. if you can call it an open window. It's more like open. It's more like 
the sudden absence of wall. <laughs> or you can say that. A bunch of old books. Covered in dust now, but they look well read. Uh, okay. It's so dark back there. Somehow the sunlight doesn't seem to be making it very far into the room. Is there a big eye? Top of the towel, right? I think so. Why? Doesn't matter. It's nothing. Is there anything? Um, I've never even clicked the, the outline. outline of Freya Fellow. Looks like she fell onto her back. There's a single patch of blood, right in the middle. So she must have been stabbed through. All the way through her back. No real signs of a struggle. What was that pain? That's weird. What? Her feet were right up by the canvas. So? So she was probably standing really close to the canvas when she fell. Then the Let's panting the really did have to stab her. Clearly that's what happened. Okay. We've read that one before. What are we checking? Click any of these things. Okay, that's a start. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, okay. There's new stuff here. Nope. I wanted to go here. think that's doing anything. Is it? Where was this face to take? And there's no red splotch. I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking for. This may be pointless, but hey, maybe we'll find something. I assume this magnifying thing is there for a reason, <laughs> even though I might not know what the reason is. This is the plate. No, it's not the top. This bit is above us still because we're here. Huh. I don't know what's, what's that gonna tell us, but. She was found lying on her back with a single stab wound on her chest. A weapon was found at the scene with the subject of Freya's unfinished painting is holding a knife. Oh, there was no. S weapon. Right. The red color on the tip of the knife is not paint. It was discovered to be blood. Hmm. I don't the feel very a strange feeling about it. Yeah, they're smart right now. Reason for that. I mean, it might be, you know, this part that is giving it a strange feeling. A bunch of old books covered in dust okay. now, but they look well mm -hmm, read. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We could just move on. There are rooms we could go to. Inside and outside. But also... Yeah, no, I'm feeling like I'm walking in circles. So... Let's just be nosy. Somebody's snoring. Look at that lamp! I love it. Buffer fish? Yes. It's also a lamp. 
for some reason. Oh, it's not a real pufferfish, is it? Hi. Sir? Can you hear me? I'm Private Detective Grimoire. I have some questions for you. Grimoire. Good mysterious name. <laughs> I'd rather like it. Felix Fellow at your beck okay. and call. And uh, this is my <laughs> colleague, Sally. Yeah, that's a perfectly good name as well. Thanks. If you would, Mr. Fellow, we really need to ask you about the murder. I, I must say, I'm rather jealous of you two. Oh, yeah? Why is uh -huh. that? Out here solving mysteries, <laughs> exploring new places, uncovering secret rooms, hidden treasures. That's what life is all about. Secret rooms? Uh, gently speaking, you know. Yeah, of course. Thing. That's definitely a secret room. We've got to find it. So, Tell us Felix, about yourself. What exactly do you uh, do? do? Is it not obvious? I'm an explorer. Oh explorer yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see it. You're an explorer. Yes, well, best in the world. We're talking like curse statues, spike pits. Uh, it's a little more sophisticated than that, but I've certainly seen my share of danger. If uh -huh. that's what you're asking. And uh, if I may ask, uh, when did you retire? <laughs> you listen here. <laughs> I may be between Ouch. adventures right now, but it's simply not in my nature to stay in one place for too long. I go wherever the winds of destiny take me. Don't you live here with your wife and daughter? Yes, well, the fellow family has certain loyalties, and with the flora the way she is... I'd... Nothing wrong with raising a family, Mr. Fellow. <clears throat> Don't misunderstand me. Fiona and Flora are my entire world. They are the greatest treasure of all. Oh. Uh, wait. Uh, Why on earth would you want to know about Felix. that? The murder of Freya Fellow. The reason we're here. <laughs> ah, right. Uh, nasty Something wasn't business. kind of important. Uh, very unfortunate. <clears throat> I, I regret that I can't be of any help, uh, but I wish you all the best in your investigation. Hear that, Grimoire? Uh -huh. We're done here. Let's go. It's a simple question, Felix. Well, I'm sure you're up to it. I just... It's... Well, there's not much to tell. Uh, mostly, I was in my room by myself, uh, working on Flora's... Uh, working uh, on a project. <laughs> Your room is quite close to Flora's tower. You didn't hear anything unusual? What qualifies as unusual? A murder? What have you got? It was dusk. A feeling lingered in the air. Malevolent, <laughs> perhaps. Uncertain. Oh dear. <laughs> as life itself. A bridged version, please. Right. Fine. I heard someone heading down the stairs. They're just outside my room. The footsteps were calm, orderly, so I thought nothing of it. Shortly afterward, I heard a second set of footsteps going the same way. This time I could tell just from the sound that something was wrong. So I looked out into the hallway. I got a glimpse of Poppy disappearing down Poppy. the staircase to the floor below. I didn't know what to make of it, to be honest. I thought perhaps she'd had a disagreement with Fitz, as I know those two are close. So I looked into his room, just in case, but it was empty, as was the garden beyond his window. Back in the hallway, I bumped into a very concerned-looking Penelope. She was heading up Fellow Tower to find Professor Pointer, so I escorted her. We went into Flora's room. Poor Freya was laying on the floor. Fiona, Poppy, Fitz, and Pointer were there already. Flora, too, of course. <laughs> Soon enough, everyone else made their excuses and left. Including you? Not I. <laughs> I stayed. Flora needed me. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, he's snoring again. 
What's the family tree like? Oh, he's married to Flora. Okay, okay, okay. I got a bit confused. Oh, okay, this looks great. I mean, I feel like there's lots that can be suspicious. A hand statue. How can you tell it's oh, hand he's painted? painting miniatures. Well, the paints are right there on the desk. Also, I mean, no offense, but you can just tell. Oh, ouch. Yeah, it's the alliteration names are confusing. A wooden carving of a man holding a sword. The model has been hand painted, but the paint is not skillfully applied. Yellow, blue, black, and white paints were found nearby. But the figure has a red cape. And there's no red paint. Tell me your secrets. Nice. A real treasure. How do you know this treasure? Why else would it be locked? Plus, there's a treasure map hanging directly above it. What's the deal with that painting on the front? X marks the spot. Not sure. We should check that treasure map, too. Okay. Oh, dear. Okay. Um... Clearly, the code is Sea Dragon, X marks the spot, Rock. Oh, wait, hang on. No, it's Sea Dragon Tree? Rock. But. Or actually, it's this bit. Sea dragon, X marks the spot. There's a tree. Hmm. I'm confused. Oh wait, maybe it is actually I3. And this bit. Is this just... yeah. Is this a direction? I just don't know... Because this is clearly the spot. But... Are we standing on the X? Or are we... we're standing... we're not standing in the middle, right? We're standing on the X. And we're looking in a direction, maybe? Huh. Are there birds? Ah, shit, they're birds. Okay. Rethinking, rethinking. There need to be birds above, above the tree? Yes. Okay, birds and trees here. And... Hmm... Are there waves? No, no waves. Okay. Maybe it's not as easy as I thought. Which makes sense. Hmm. Because we have one coordinate and a direction. Cardinal direction, that's what they're called. <sighs> and it feels like we're standing on the X. Right? Maybe. Let's see. Oh, the... It's... <laughs> the treasure magnet is a bit psychedelic. The wibbly wobbliness is definitely messing with me. In a way that I didn't expect. It wiggles. It really, really does. And it's a bit disconcerting. 
it makes it hard for my brain to do anything. <laughs> Oh, do you think I, I have to move with the wobble and then I can figure it out? <laughs> uh, that's actually going to make me more dizzy, I think. Okay, let's look at it again. Right. Yes, I think we need one coordinate and a cardinal direction. So far, I figured that one out. We're standing on the X, I feel like, and there's a, a sea dragon sea monster whatever a sea snake a sea snake next to us uh, on our left there's a rock coming out of the water on our right in front of us is a palm tree and two birds uh... she snake why are you doing this to me? Just trying to figure out from which X I would see the things because I think that's the clue or that's the solution. There's only one X that will allow us to see all these things. And then the direction we're looking is the cardinal direction we're looking for. But I feel like I can't find it. And the wobble is doing my head in. Um, Oh wait, it's this one. It has to be this one, right? Right? Left? Wait. <laughs> Directions are not my forte. That's to the left. If we're looking this direction, we're looking west, then the sea snake, the sea snake is on our left. The rock is on our right. And the birds in the tree are the direction we're looking. So it's H six W. This hurt my brain just a little bit, but I think I'm right. I'm not gonna double check. Me. That was a wobbly thing in my head. What was in the box? Is it nothing again? Wooden models. Oh come on. These are a little different to the one on the desk. Ooh, aren't they? Oh, it's a family. And there's a red paint. A model resembling a child with green hair. A model resembling a woman with gray hair. A model resembling a red and white bird. A model resembling a broad-shouldered man. The wooden models have been hand-painted. The paint is not skillfully applied. Is there an L messing? A pot of red paint and a brush is laying nearby. The brush has some dried pa red paint on it. This one's not like wobbly, wiggly. Is that green hair? I'm gonna believe the description, but it doesn't look like green hair to me. Hmm, a red and white bird. Okay, so this is obviously Flora. Is this... What's his name? Felix? Do they have children? Do I have a picture of the... No, I don't have a picture of the family tree. That would be helpful. Because... Freya is obviously a child with green hair. But I thought her mother was somebody else. Well, good thing I can just walk down the stairs and look at it. Excuse me. What is that? I think oh, it's let me tree. just look at it, please. 
Okay, it's Felix. And Flora. Fiona. Okay. Their child is named Fiona. Maybe Fiona also has green hair. Dead center. She's half fellow and half. Do you think she still lives here? I don't know. Because like Freya's parents are Felicia and Damon Dusk, which is a really cool name. Um and his brother is Flint. Felix was looking for him. <laughs> okay, so they do have a kid. It's Fiona. Uh but let's go back. I don't want to miss anything. I still really like this lamp. I just hope it's not an actual puffer fish. A hammock. It's kind of worn out. I would politely describe it as lived in. <laughs> cool. It's a barometer, but it's broken. Yeah. I've never seen a barometer that wasn't broken. Barometers are for like uh, air pressure, right? What is it? He's an imp. What does he do? Impy things? Well, if you tell too many lies, he appears at the end of your bed in the middle of the night. That's worse. Oh. Okay, pressure. That's a massive conch shell. Do you think this little crab... Oh, so it is conch? Why did, do I remember somebody telling me or saying that it's conch? I hope so. It's Can a magic lamp. Or is it more like a regional thing again? Can we summon the genie? If we get really stuck, sure. Is that the globe? It's Earth. Okay, you can pronounce it either way. If Earth was made of paper and gave off a gentle pink light. I mean, that would be nice. It's a drinking horn. Is it full of ale? Or... Right now, it's just full of dust. Yuck. Oh. Okay, okay, I think. The entire room is made of wood. Oh, it's not just made of wood. I think it's the actual hull of a ship. Oh, that's actually really cool. Shelf junk. Oh, shelf junk. I have loads of those. A map with a dotted line and an X marked on it. That's a very boring way to describe a treasure map. <laughs> is there any the entire thing? room is made of wood. Oh, okay. it's not just made of wood. I think it's the actual hull of a ship. Okay. I feel like we had one little puzzle. We found that little family portrait in miniatures, which is interesting because I feel like the bird is important for some reason. Is it, oh, that's Freya's room. That painting is really something. Why would you want it looming over your bed like that? Maybe Freya enjoyed the atmosphere it creates. The atmosphere that it's creepy? The atmosphere of chaos and oppression? Hang on. There is a smaller version down by the floor. It's a photograph. A small photograph of Freya's abstract painting. A piece of adhesive tape is stuck on it. Lines have been drawn with black ink around the edges. Oh, this goes somewhere, clearly. Is that a red light? Not the kind of lamp I choose for my bedroom, but fair enough. Oh, I can talk to people about the clues. And about the people. I don't think I, s I realized cool. that yet. Thank you. Looks like old mining equipment or something. I feel like that might be useful when I've like collected all the things, maybe. But I don't know. But well, that's good to know. Thank you very much. I still feel like I'm Freya's need to plans. get. Yeah. I feel like they we need to get a solid um, grasp. Oh, maybe I need a plant like that. Is that? With a oh, pattern. it's a pillow. I thought it was a, like a, a food bag for an animal. It's a cushion. Yeah, but that doesn't alliterate. What's the difference between a cushion and a pillow? It's Freya's bed. A little bit messy. It's a perfectly healthy amount of messy. Yeah, it looks cozy. Drawings taped up on the wall. What's hmm. that one on the left? Looks like two people. One of them's holding a red rose. Okay, intrigue. Maybe that's the PP and FF. These people look a bit like some in the uh, description Felix gave. 
A drawing of a man standing with a woman in a garden. He's holding a rose. A drawing of a young woman? A drawing of a person wearing a cloak. Fifi. Is that Fion Fiona? That might be Fiona. Ooh, it's what's this? I think it's a vivarium. Come again. It's a Vivarium. Some twigs in there. Might have yes. been for keeping insects. Oh, insects next to your bed. Freya's plants. They must not need sunlight. Freya's oh, a little there. Teddy. Looks pretty depressed. He's had a rough couple of days. Oh, now I feel sad. It's a fish. I think. I think it looks more like a whale. Oh, look, there's the whale. Oh wait, it was a shark, right? Fine, it's a whale. It could also be a shark. Maybe it's a shark. We found the shark. Painting supplies. Okay, this is also a painting. Box for paintbrush. To the casual observer, maybe. Ooh. Oh, okay. They're okay, not okay. real paintbrushes. Looks they're like not. they're part of some kind of lock mechanism. Oi, fun. Swap the brushes into the correct order. Arrange the paper to find the clue. Okay. Is this all one page? Yeah. a bit more fitting. Yeah. What am I looking at? We have paint brushes, we have numbers. The numbers stay and we have different colors and there's shapes too which correspond to some of the brushes. And we have these things. It's like measurements. And lots and lots of question marks. Mm -hmm. This bit also stays. Hmm. Are we arranging from shortest to longest? Potentially. Which would mean something sort of like this. I don't know which one of these is higher. Same goes for this. Oh, wait. Actually. I feel like this makes more of a curve. Hmm. But also, oh wait, oh I feel like I understand a little bit more, yes, yes, yes. So okay, the first one is short, the last one is big, the second one has green on it, and the fourth one is has blue, the middle one is it middle? No, it's third. Has to be like a thing shaped. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I get it. I get it. I think. Now I just have to put it all together, which all fun and games. Okay. Uh, does it just mean the shortest or a short one? Because. This one has to be one of these. And this one has to be one of those. And it can't be this one because this is the shortest and it has to be here. So this one has to be this and this one has to be this. These ones are locked in my brain. So now is the question. That means this one has to be the blue one. So this one has to be the green one. 
no, this one has to be the um, triangle-y one. So this one has to be the green one. And this one's an orange brush, and this one's a pink brush. Wait, is that it already? Right? Shortest, longest. This one has this shape. Oh, start from the top. Shortest, longest. Green paint. This one. Blue paint. Triangle shape. This one. And this shape. This one. Orange brush. Pink brush. There we go. Ooh, Perfect. Nice. Oh, this is very satisfying. What was in the box? Just a photograph. Ooh. Well, most, most of, a, of photograph. a photograph. Okay, a photograph of two young girls, one with red hair, the other with green hair. The photo has a large piece missing. It seems to have been ripped off, and clearly there's somebody else standing there. So a girl with green hair could be Flora. And she has like a thing. Is that Fifi from the other picture? Nope. This one. Could that be the same girl? The hair swoop. Looks similar. Interesting. Okay. Is there anything else to click on? Do you think this was always supposed to be a bedroom? I don't know. It is kind of a weird shape. No windows either. Oh look. Did Freya paint those animals on her ceiling? They're kind of simplistic. Maybe she painted them when she was younger. Huh. Drawings taped up on the wall. What's that one on the left? Looks like two people. One of them's holding a red okay, rose. Okay, we looked at that before. Um, Brushes, oh. Pencils. Stuff in the foreground is maybe also important. They're clean, but they look pretty well used. Even yes. though we're halfway up a tower, someone's been tracking in mud from outside. Hmm. Interesting. Let's go. Um... Let's try this one. Oh, look, it's the red heart haired girl. Curious. I would expect bacteria of that nature to thrive in these conditions. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Taking all the environmental factors into account, there must be something I am still missing. Uh, may I talk to you, miss? She knows we're here. She just doesn't care. I am a detective, and I need to talk- Correction. You do not need to talk to me. Oh, no? How come? Because I am not a suspect. I am completely innocent of any and all crimes. Thanks for letting me know. Speaking of which, you have now been at Tangle Tower for over 23 minutes. Oh, Surely you have already okay. reached a sturdy hypothesis. A hypothesis? About the murder? Yeah, come on, Grimoire. Hurry up. My apologies. Unfortunately, protocol dictates I must at least meet all the suspects. And that includes you. So, uh... I feel like we've been doing this longer me? than 23 minutes. Fifi Fellow. Microbiologist. Inventor. Fifi. Innovator. Okay. You will need to be more specific. One's self cannot be summarized in a single response without oh doing one a great disservice. <laughs> so true. Well, first of all, you're a fellow. So, does that make you the daughter of- Correct. My father and mother are named Flora and Felix, but you need not question either of them. It will only waste valuable time. Neither of them are capable of murder. Thanks for the tip. Fifi, you said you were a micro... something or other? Microbiologist. But it is an insignificant label. My studies cannot be categorized in any one recognized field. What made you want to become a scientist in the first place? I harbor an intrinsic fascination with the microscopic. I constructed my first one at age 10. Constructed a microscope? Correct. And what's that thing on your head? Did you make that too? My eyesight began to deteriorate when I turned 12. Not oh, I feel that. Not the eyeglasses prescribed to me. I designed this custom lens instead. 
It automatically adjusts based on the surrounding light conditions. Does it glow red when you get angry? No, <laughs> but that would be most amusing. Okay. What can you tell me about the murder? What can you tell me about... Wait, that's what I'm supposed to ask <laughs> you. Yes, however, you were too slow. You fancy yourself a detective too, Fifi. I just need to know what happened. Me too, so talk. Fine. I knew ahead of time that Freya was going to be busy with her painting all day, so I had planned to spend the afternoon with Poppy. I was in the library all morning preparing the equipment for an experiment, only to find out that Poppy had made other plans and she was, in fact, planning to ignore me completely. Oh. So what did you do instead? I locked myself in my room and cried. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Why? I don't know, it just sounds kind of sad. It is not unusual. Oh. Oh. Good. That makes me even more sad. I was in my room. The lights were off and the door was locked. Someone began banging on the door. I ignored oh. it. Until the someone began shouting at me. I opened the door. Poppy came into my room. Her makeup was leaking. She told me Freya was dead. I did not believe it. I thought she was playing a trick on me, so I punched her in the face. <laughs> she insisted that we go up to Flora's tower. We left the room, and Poppy's father was waiting outside. He followed us upstairs. When I saw Freya lying on the floor, I was completely and utterly devastated. Then, I took a sample of the red paint on the unfinished painting. Poppy and I took the sample back downstairs to the library. We performed a test and found out that it was, in fact, blood. You performed that scientific test immediately, even though you were feeling so upset? Of course. Why would one affect the other? <laughs> yeah, why would one affect the other? Oh, is this where we can ask about the people? Okay, cool. I want to ask about this, because this is clearly like family but the little girl is not Fifi it's her parents <laughs> she truly is that Can't okay. wait. Uh, later let's look at the library first I assume there's a puzzle here too oh no look somebody might have accidentally stumbled into the shelves it looks about ancient history it wasn't me these books are ancient history. I think they'd crumble into dust if I tried to pick them up. Good excuse. Thanks. <laughs> books about insects. Well, theoretically. There's not a single book on that shelf. Huh. Huh. Books about geography. Skip. <laughs> okay. Books about space. They're relatively untouched. Huh. Is that a snow? Of sorts. Oh, it's a tower. And there's like a wall. Hey, look at that. It's a model of Tangle Tower. There's a lake and oh, there's those mountains. weird mountains. What are you thinking? That would make an amazing souvenir. <laughs> it is very pretty. Look at that. Oh, okay. It's the same thing. It's Whoops. a model of Tangle Tower. What are you thinking? That would make an amazing... Is that it? I assume that's it. I'm not gonna press it a third time. Ooh, I found a souvenir. Uh, what's in those bottles? I'm not sure. Soil samples? It's an illustrated book about birds. And it's been left open. It looks like so. Or something. it was left open for Ever so slightly unnerving. Bird book. The ink dip is a remarkably intelligent bird with a very long lifespan, even among, among avian mystids. Other birds are often aggressive towards it, and the ink dip lives most of its life alone. It has particular feeding habits and usually only eats the seeds of the Tantum Amica pictured. Okay, is somebody identifying with a bird? Just a little bit. Fifi? A chalkboard? Is this a library or a classroom? Oh dear. Oh. Too many numbers. It's hurting my head. Math, but don't look at them for too long. You'll give yourself a headache. Yeah, please. 
Any idea what this means? Not a clue. One, two, three, four. Any idea what this means? Oh, okay. I guess. Math. Don't oh, it's that it? You'll give yourself a headache. This doesn't seem to be a puzzle. Math. Don't okay. Look at them for okay. 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 I'm not sure I learned anything from that. Yeah, me neither. Books about birds. The shelves are about half empty. Oh, so you're a. The shelves are half empty. <laughs> Books about nature. Mm. Sure. Why not build a science lab in the corner of the library? I mean, what's what this goes together well, knowledge. other than paper and fire? The archiving of old knowledge. It's downright poetic. Sure, you sure. can look at it like this. Why not oh, okay. build the search for new knowledge? The archiving yeah, 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 of yeah, old knowledge. It's downright poetic. What's this? It's musty in here. What exactly does that mean? What is must? Must. You ask such stupid questions. <laughs> nice. Um. Well, we haven't found a book on the fundamental oh. entomology. Hmm. I guess somebody dropped it. Books if about geography. Haven't found Skip. a puzzle. Sure. Why oh. not build the search for new knowledge? The archiving of its oh. downright poetic. Yeah. Is there anything? It's musty in here. What oh. exactly does that still mean? Still. What must? You ask such stupid nice. questions. Hmm. I don't know. I think we can go into her room. Let's do that. Well, she at least gets a window. Crystal Some chandelier. nice chandeliers. I don't know. They just seem less. They're kind of dusty. Also, you don't want those falling on your head. Fifi's got something pinned up here. What is all this? Uh, okay. That's Flora. That's Poppy. That's Felix. That's Poppy and the guy she was in the picture with. This is Poppy's dad. Is that Poppy's mom? That's... Uh, it's an emo looking dude. Is that Grimoire? No. Can't be. Wait. Maybe it is. Is Fifi trying to solve the mystery with math equations? Maybe. Did you ever try that? Maybe it works. Is Fifi? Okay. Did you ever try that? Arrows connecting all the different suspects. They're not labeled though. Yeah, they're completely meaningless. <laughs> Did you notice who isn't on here? Uh, Fifi. Freya? Mm hmm. And Fifi herself. I mean, Freya is dead. She can't be really a suspect, right? Looks like a microscope. A Can I touch it? Let's touch it. Ooh. Uh, I'm not sure this is a microscope. Horizontally slide the four magnifying lenses to the correct positions. Uh, okay. Oh, we're making a key. I see. Okay, hang on. Let's. Nope. This size and this size. Oh, wait. quite how it's supposed to look, I feel like. Right. Nope. Is this 
too big. This is no longer connecting. Maybe this is too big. This is not big enough. Oh, do I need all of them? I want to call this close enough, but I'm also not sure if if there's such a thing. <laughs> I feel like this gap needs to be bigger. I might be messing it up again, but this isn't right. Because now it has like... Um, Oh, wait. Do we think that's right? I got it. Ah, I'm good. Impressed. Sounds like it unlocked. Yeah, it's built Ooh. on top of a little... There's a book in here. A book? I mean, that looks like somebody's diary. <laughs> a, stra a strange metal device. I mean... Oh, there's a star on it. Didn't somebody have a book with a star here? But that's the girl with the green hair, not Fifi. The thing about a locking mechanism that has very visible screws is you can probably just unscrew it. But that's just a thought. I don't know what that drink is, but I bet it's 99% sugar. Hmm. I'd read you the ingredients, but there's nothing written on the can. That's suspicious. That's even worse. What's that big book on the desk? Looks like something Fifi's been is writing. It a clue? I hope not. It's just a bunch of notes about her microbiology experiments. Okay. It's a magnifying glass. How come you don't have one of those? Why? <laughs> because I'm a detective? I mean, yeah. Should I start smoking a pipe too? You should also wear a deerstalker hat. You can pull off a pipe. Oh, there's another teddy. A new suspect. Don't think you can get out being questioned just because you're. I'm innocent. I promise. <laughs> there's a worse. Save it for the judge. I mean, you're right. That's true. I mean, in general, it's. That's the way to go. That's a whole lot of books. Yeah. Those... I mean, there aren't that many books. Boxes of stuff. I have those too. That's a Okay, whole still the books. Book. It's a bed. Barely. I mean, it's a mattress. Scientific formulas, probably. Fun. I openly admit I have no idea what any of it means. <laughs> a pretty ornate window with a great view of the lake. We're supposed to be looking for clues, not assessing the real estate value. And over here, you'll see the owner's used sheets of paper <laughs> to block out all that unnecessary natural light. A simple trick, but it really transforms the space. The stuff Fifi's thrown away. You gonna rummage through the trash can? No. That is I give it five minutes before you're in there. The stuff Fifi's you gonna rummage oh, through okay. the No. I give it five minutes before you're in there. The stuff Fifi's no. you gonna rummage through the trash No. I give it five minutes before you're in there. I mean it it doesn't let me, so I guess not. Uh did we miss anything? I don't think so on first glance. What else can we look at? There's the other side of the tower, and there's the outside. Let's check out the outside. Let's get some fresh air. Oof. 
That looks so good. Honestly, I love how this looks. It's a big stone dais. Biggest one I've ever seen. Oh, well, just dragons? First one, too. It's a sea serpent. Oh, fine. It's a sea serpent. Turned into stone by a wizard. <laughs> you say so? What happened I mean, to its head? Beheaded by the same wizard. Yeah, it makes sense. Well, nice cape. You're not fellows or pointers. I'm sure I shall immediately regret asking. But who are you, and what is your business here? I'm sorry, uh, this is my sidekick, Grimoire. There was a, a murder? detective, Grimoire. Really? You're a detective. If this is a joke, it's not a good one. <clears throat> who are you, anyway? Private Detective Hawkshaw. What? Oh, nice. Hawkshaw's a cooler name than Grimoire. Is it? I'll become her sidekick. You're not on the Freya Fellow case, too, are you? That is classified information between myself and my client. Clearly, this is something which eludes you. But a real detective refrains from handing out information to persons unknown. Oh, right. Isn't there now, a sketch would, of that person? It's not in my interest on to discuss Freya's personal wall? details. Even if you're one of the suspects in a murder? Very well. Let us make a small exception. Ask. Oh, what are you doing here? I'm on a case at the behest of my client. How long have you Helpful. been at Table Tower? 133 hours. Uh, five and a half days. Thanks. What I was going to ask. For? I am not at liberty to answer that. Now, I shall permit you one more question. What crime are you... How'd you get that scar? It's cool. <laughs> you really think so? We got her. As it happens, I completed an examination of Flora's room on the morning before the murder. I've been investigating Why? every single room at Tangle Tower. Hers was one of the last on my list. Did you find anything unusual? Nothing but a thin layer of dust and an atmosphere of somber melancholy. Was Flora in there at the time? She spent the duration of my search staring up at the sky. Out the open window. Didn't say a word. Although I'm told this is the expected behavior. Uh, what did yeah. you do after that? I spent the early evening searching the library. It took longer than it should have. Fiona leaves that room in a permanent state of disarray. Fiona was in the library too? I expected her to make an appearance, but she did not. And you stayed in the library the rest of the day? Not quite. Did we... What did Fiona tell us? That she prepared something and then she went to her room to cry. Towards the early evening, my examination of the library was unexpectedly disrupted. Sounds of running, wailing, shouting from several floors above. I vacated the library, but before I could begin my ascent, Professor Pointer appeared. He emerged from the Pointer staircase, crossed the hall, and begun up the fellow staircase. Our eyes met. He was breathless. Something had caused him great alarm. He told me to stay out of the way. I consented. I decided to return to my office in the stone square. As I was passing through the front door, Penelope called out from behind me. She was clutching the banister of the pointer staircase with an apprehensive manner. She wished to know where Professor Pointer had gone. I told her what had transpired. Then, she too crossed the hall and disappeared up the fellow staircase. Hmm. More so than at any moment prior, I felt like quite an intruder in the house. I took my leave, out towards the stone square. The grounds were silent. There were no signs of human life. Even the greenhouse was without its typical inhabitant. I noted that he, too, must be entangled in whatever was transpiring. Typical inhabitant? An unremarkable hour passed before the gardener finally made his appearance. Oh, him. He spoke to me of what had occurred. His report was as clumsy and cumbersome as the man giving it. Did he seem upset? He was rattled. That much was clear. But sorrowful? Mournful? I cannot say. Hmm. I feel like Vess is a good person to ask about stuff, but I don't know if she's actually going to tell us anything. <sighs> Let's 
let's just see what happens. I assume there's no penalty on asking things. Considerably intelligent, and her powers of observation are enviable. But she has no ambition. No focus. In her defense, she's still a teenager. Barely. Okay. Freya Fellow is of great interest to me. I perceive her to be the most intelligent individual here at Tangle Tower. Okay. Within a day, she had identified for whom I was working and for what I was searching. I didn't know how she did it. Hmm. I was impressed. I regret that I did not question her more thoroughly when I had the opportunity. You couldn't have known she was about to be killed, though. I have only myself to blame for failing to perceive the signs. What signs? I do not wish to do your job for you, detective. Interesting. Oh, I get a little tick. Did you get anything useful out of him? Not sure. Mm. What about you? Nothing worth committing to paper. I think he knows more than he lets on. Probably. But talking with him is so tedious. <laughs> Can I ask her about herself? 314 cases solved. 314? <laughs> Oh Quite dear. The stoic statue, isn't she? I can only dream of being as cold and indifferent as Flora Fellow. You think she's hiding something? Perhaps. I mean, she has some strange habits. Oh, I really? Mean she barely sleeps an hour here or there, sporadically. Spends the rest of her time staring up at the sky. Huh. Up at the sky? Interesting, I guess. There's a metal plaque on the bench. Is there a message engraved on it? Oh, I think there was I forgot to click. Point, but someone scratched it off. Ooh, it was scratched off. Do you ever see a mushroom that big before? Not in I mean, life. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, we clicked on the thing. It's a big stone dais. I guess when I've okay. ever seen. First it's one the same thing. Looks like it might be about to fall apart. Grimoire, you go first. <laughs> A little bridge leading back to the gardens. Okay, okay, okay. It's Tangle Tower. Or at least it's the mansion at the base of Tangle Tower. Oh, that's A the Bamston. stone tower. I don't know. Might be a good hiding place. You think? Want to play hide and seek? I could be persuaded. <laughs> Um, is there anything it's else? Tower, oh, okay. At least That's it's the, the same. Mansion. Let's see. The greenhouse, I assume. Oh, that sounds so nice. Oh, I love this. This is so relaxing. Oh, wow. Aside from the looming guy in the shadows. But, oh, it's really lovely. This one's in a little pot. Okay, that is definitely not edible. Is it's it like glowing? Don't you think? A potted fruit with hard gemstone like skin. The soil in the pot is an unusual blue color. Is that fruit? Too shiny that? to be fruit. I think it's glowing a little too. Safe to eat, do you think? I'm gonna say no. <laughs> this is cool. That's a handsome beetle. Looks like he might have magic powers. I mean, yeah. Bags of soil. Clearly, everything is magic in here. So blue. <laughs> All the flowers here look kind of poisonous. Can flowers be poisonous? Yeah. Anything can be poisonous. Good to know. A little chart of. Actually, I have no idea what it's about. Uh. I don't know either. Kind of reminds me of a periodic table. Kind of reminds okay. me of periodic table. Um, are, those are Greek letters, right? Yeah, that's Greek. Alpha, Beta, Epsilon. Pretty sure that's Greek. That's Zeta. 
Huh. I don't think I can do anything with it. it. Not a whole lot. It's glass, but I can't see through it. Tonal oxymoron. I am not. <laughs> Tools. Used by a gardener. For gardening. Good. Hanging baskets. They're so To you, maybe. You're only two inches taller than me. Two inches makes all the difference. Does it? Sally, don't move. Yeah, I see him. He's a little too big to hide in the bushes. Yeah. Is anyone going to say anything? Or shall we just stand around staring at each other? Right. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> right? That's better. I'm Sally. And the guy hiding behind me is Detective Grimoire. Who are you? Fitz Fellow. The gardener. Mm-hmm. And He's why are you so tall? Gardener? <laughs> Why are you no. so tall? <laughs> That's not a question you ask people. I don't get paid to do it. It's just my area of interest. Okay. What's the deal with the plants? They're all kind of weird. Right. Did you see the lake? That giant queen yeah. of purple lakes surrounding the entire house? Yeah, I clocked it. The color <laughs> is just a byproduct. Of what? Poison? It's not poisonous. Not to you. Uh, what's this got to do with the plants? Not the water to controls you. controls all life, just like anywhere else on the planet. Clouds form, rain falls. Uh -huh. The water grows the plants, animals eat the plants. Anything you've perceived as an irregularity is simply a result of this hydrological cycle. Uh -huh. Could you say that again, but like, condense it as if you were talking to a slightly stupid person? <laughs> Our lake water causes the unpredictable alteration of DNA, sometimes. Alteration? Like mutation. Of DNA? That would be the official term. For us, it's normal. Just nature. And okay, so you're, so you're all... expert on all this stuff? Mutate it? No. I'm just the gardener. Sure. I was in my greenhouse, watering and weeding. Sounds exciting. Was anyone else around? Not at first. Penelope came in a little later. She likes looking at the flowers, I think. Did you speak to each other? A little. Not too much. We both left the greenhouse in the early afternoon. I went up to my room. Then I came back outside to weed the main gardens. Didn't see anyone else. After that, I went up to the garden outside my room. And? Let me oh. Guess. Watering and weeding. Right. Did anything happen to you yesterday, Fitz? I just realized where he fits into the family tree. He's Felix's brother. So Felix said he went into his brother's room and it was empty and the garden was as well. But he said he was weeding in the garden. I found well, I an inconsistency. In it was quiet. And then it wasn't. I can't describe it. Could have been a scream, but it didn't sound human. Okay. We thought it was coming from Flora's tower, so we went up we? there. We? Poppy was with me. Did yeah. I not mention that? No, he didn't. Flora's room was locked. That's normal. She usually locks it from the inside. I knocked on the door and shouted. Nobody responded. We became concerned. You kicked the door down? I did. Poppy and I went in. Freya was right there, laying on her back. Flora was there too, but I barely noticed her at first. Poppy left the room for a while. When she came back, she had her father with her, and Fifi too. Penelope arrived shortly after that, with Felix in tow. I thought that was odd. You don't normally see the two of them together. Okay, why not? Felix took charge. There was nothing else I could do to help. I wanted to go back to my room, but I realized nobody had told Detective Hawkshaw anything. I found her pacing back and forth around the stone square. When I approached pacing. her, she snapped at me. I think she was annoyed about being made to wait outside so long. Oh, okay. But when I told her about Freya, she fell silent. Hmm. Okay, why... Why wouldn't Felix and 
Penelope we've seen Phoenix with each is other. A contradiction. His loyalties are placed firmly within the realm of materialism, money, property. But uh. his ego relies on an entirely fraudulent self image, <laughs> don't you think? Yeah, just a little. Uh, I was just about to say the same thing. Okay, he's cool. I like him. It's yeah, I feel like unlocked. It's up in the fellow tower. This could yeah. be interesting. Uh well, let's just go. I think we clicked on everything. Oh, that's sad. Oh, this is really quite sad. Why is it so empty? Oh, wow. What? It's a big empty space. <laughs> it is. It's a little handmade card. Someone's drawn Inside it says, to Fitz, from PP. I mean, is that Poppy? They're not related, right? That poor plant. Looks pretty healthy to me. Healthy, but sad. I think oh. I'd rather be outside. Doesn't look soft. An empty glass and an empty plate. Ah, you're right. I think he spends most of his time in the greenhouse. Looking at it is making me want to cry. It's Why? still kind of sad. I don't know. Hello. Not hidden very well, is it? Doesn't need to be. It's locked. Oh, of it's course. A lock. It would be leaves. Sort of. Rearrange the pieces of paper to find the combination for the bo box's padlock. Okay. I mean, this fits together like so. No, 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 no. I can't. Can I? No, I can't turn these. Can I? I think I can turn them, so I'm a bit confused. Oh, wait. This is not helpful. I can make shapes, but it doesn't tell me which order they would be in. So I'm not sure how that's gonna help me. Wait, but that's not a leaf shape, is it? No, it's not. Okay, that's done. That's not a solution. Oh, hang on, I'm gonna cough. about that I mean yeah I can make shapes not sure how that's gonna help to be honest because that's not a leaf shape either so I'm not doing this right
I mean, this is almost a leaf shape. But again, I'm not sure what it's supposed to tell me. Oh, I mean, this one actually lines up with the rest. Oh, good question. No, they're not. Oh, look, I found that one. Oh, do I have to, like, just find all the shapes? That was a very good hint. Because I feel like this is this one, and I found that one. Oh, I'm... I was not looking at it the right way. Thank you so much, Katie. Guess my brain just needed a little... Uh... Let's see... P a little push. I found this one. I'm not sh Oh, wait. It's here. Okay, and... <laughs> yeah. I think this is this shape, isn't it? This is actually the one I already have. Okay, we found that shape. We found that shape earlier. Cool. That's done it. Neat. Nice. Anything in there? I'm glad we're solving this together. It's more brains at work at one thing. Yeah, it's wrapped in is... Hold on. Huh. That's kind of ominous. Yeah, it's it's just everybody. Oh, that's cute, I guess. A metal gardening trowel with a decorative pattern. It has a decorative pattern engraved into it in letters e either side of the heart, PP and FF. I mean, we have to assume it fits. There really isn't much else to click on. I feel like so. It's I thought we were halfway up a tower. We are. What's that thing by the handle? Ooh, is it another puzzle? S slide the lid open, then move the tiles into the correct slots. Eh, move. What do you mean, the correct slots? I'm confused. I feel like I'm missing a clue? Yeah, I feel like I'm missing a thing I haven't seen yet because I'm looking at it going, uh, that's not helpful. Let's come back once we... No. Yeah, this is not the way to go about it. But it's a lock in his room. Where would the clue be? <laughs> I mean, I could just try and brute force a thing. It doesn't seem that complicated, but at the same time, I don't want to mess up. <laughs> and that feels like you just need a little hint and everything's clear. I wonder if the clue would be in the greenhouse and I missed it? Because that's where he spends most of his time. Yeah, I think it's the the garden. Bit of a decadent flooring Oops. choice for a greenhouse. Oh, maybe it's from the other side. Yeah, you said I'm not supposed to uh, just. Uh, that's why I figured I'm not doing it because you said there would be consequences. And I don't want the consequences. Oh, okay. No, I don't want that. This is not helpful, right? Actually, I have no idea what it's about. This is something else. No, you said I, I haven't seen it yet, so that makes lot. no sense. But I guess, yeah, it's between the tower. Is that Poppy's room? It would be, wouldn't it? For the drama of it all. 
I have to check something real quick. What is? I think it's a family. Shush! I want to look at it. Okay, that's Poppy. Uh, oh wait, that's Fitz. It's not Felix's brother. But Felix said he looked into his brother's room. But it showed him going into Fitz's room. Or did he say... No, because that's like his nephew, right? Do I understand how family trees work? It's we haven't met the brother yet. Like, just to be sure. Like, they are cousins. Or something. But, like, not blood related. Yeah, I don't know. Probably, probably not cousins, really. I don't know. Just that was bothering me. I thought he said brother. Maybe he just said Fitz, and I assumed he meant his brother. Wait, can I look at that? Can I look at what he said? Uh, I don't think I can. Yeah, because he went into Fitz's room and I thought he said brother, but maybe I assumed. But I wonder. I guess his brother doesn't live there. Right? Because, like, we've run out of rooms in the fellow side of the tower. So there can't be a brother living there too. Yeah, too many of the same initials gets confusing. Oh, that is just a vibe. I love those lanterns. People lanterns. Yeah, no, it's not really cousins. Whatever you're right. Are, it's just like, like a weirdly connected family tree like a little parade of floating spirits. Oh, whatever it is, it's playing a little trumpet. While it is, the music room has got to practice. <laughs> That's with all the broken glass. Oh. Would that ha have been a light, maybe? A shiny statue of a strange creature holding a large horn. There's a noticeable, noticeable crack running along the length of the statue's horn. Inside the horn on and on the ground below, a are various shards of crack class. <laughs> it it feel that's why I checked the family tree, Katie. I was I was trying to make sure. But it's also again the same initials. It's like how closely are you related again? <laughs> Who plays the violin, I wonder? It's pretty dusty. Oh, so probably so nobody. Nobody. <laughs> I'm glad the game is in my head. One old wooden bookcase. Yep. Twenty-five dry old books. And several lit candles. Mm -hmm. Four lit candles. Yeah. Fun times. I'm the only one seeing the problem. <laughs> oh, others. There's plants like a forest in here. On the ceiling. <laughs> Honestly. This room is such a vibe. I kind of want to be in it. Oh, shoot. Are you a ghost? Sally, that's rude. <laughs> Unless she is a ghost. It may come as a disappointment. But I am alive. Ah. That makes you a suspect, I'm afraid. <laughs> I know. What's your name? My name is Poppy. I'm a pointer. And a pianist. We'll need to ask you a few questions about Freya. I know. Hey, you're pretty good. All in the wrist. And 13 years of dedicated practice. Yeah, that's more like it. I'm just me. There's nothing to know. How are you related to the other pointers? My father is Percival Pointer. The professor 
spent oh. most of his time hidden away in his tower. Barely speaks to anyone these days. Especially not the fellows. Do you get on with the fellows? Two of them. Fifi and Freya are my closest friends. We all turned 19 last year. Do people ever leave Tangle Tower? I don't mean to be rude. It's just... If you're 19... You don't have to answer that, Poppy. It's a fair question. I'd like to move away. Definitely. Fifi, Freya, and I would often talk about it. Argue about <laughs> it. Freya wanted to leave, but... Fifi... Things are more complicated for her. What about now? After what happened, I really don't want to stay here much longer. It's interesting, she said she gets along with two of the fellows, Fifi and Freya. She did not mention Fitz. Yeah, I kind of love her too. She's kind of amazing. And... Three and a half hours of piano practice. Soon as I wake up. Same as always. Three and oh, a half. Does a lot. that not hurt your hands? Sure. And you do this in the music room? No, I prefer to practice in my room. When oh, I there's an art mistakes, book? I like to make them in private. What did you do after that? I was supposed to meet Fifi in the library, but I totally forgot. When I finally got down there, she'd already gone. I checked her bedroom, but it was locked. Was Fifi not in there? No idea. She keeps her door locked either way. So I went back upstairs and out into the moonlight garden. The what? The little garden on the roof outside my room. Was it just you up there? I no. knew it was her. Fitz came outside after a while. His room's on the other side. He's been teaching me about flowers. So, did you talk to him? Not really. You ignored each other. I didn't say that. <laughs> they didn't talk. Fitz and I were up in the moonlight garden most of the afternoon. Then we heard this sound. Lasted about three seconds. I've been trying to decide how to describe it, but I'm struggling. It was like something drilling into a piece of metal, but different. Ugh. Worse. I was pretty sure it was coming from Flora's tower, so we went up there to check. So some kind of was screech. Nobody was answering. I knew Freya and Flora were both supposed to be in there, so I made Fitz kick down the door. I went inside. Freya was lying on the floor. Flora was in the room too? Yeah. I think she realized what had happened at the same moment I did. I didn't know what to do. So I ran downstairs to get Fifi. Her door was still locked. But I knocked and shouted at her. Eventually she let me in. The lights were off. But I could see she'd already been crying. I told her what had happened. She didn't believe me. I'm so... She got angry. First time I've ever seen her angry. I dragged her out into the hall. Like... My father was there too, for some reason. The three of enticed us Enticed by this whole story. Tower. Then Felix arrived. He had Penny with him. Fifi had this idea. She wanted to do some kind of scientific test. She took me down to the library. We were in there about 15 minutes. After she was done, she went back upstairs and... I went back to my room. That's it? That's it. It's just so good! Like, I'm so invested! Alright, Poppy's bedroom is on. I wonder on. what's in there. Uh, later. I wanna make sure I've clicked everything. Uh... Just yell at me if I'm playing for too long because I don't want to stop. But also, who cares? Because... This is so intriguing. Sheet music. It's handwritten. That's a lot of notes. Looks pretty difficult. Probably why they're on the floor. Like, how do you stop playing this game? There's a faded mural on the wall. When I was a kid, I never knew the difference between a mural and a mosaic. I mean, do I need to go to bed? Really? I don't have to go anywhere. You still don't know, do you? What? No. Sorry. I was not listening. <laughs> Shit. Um, oh, well, right, I should ask her about, I want to ask her about Fitz, but maybe also about the others. That's a good point. Uh, let's just start at the top. 
needless noise from tongues expel unless within the mouth they dwell oh <laughs> spoken word unfit for dealing with the shifting form ah, of feeling, stand unblinking in the face of taciturn and soundless space is that why you told me to do that <laughs> I'm not even sure she told me anything, <laughs> but I love this. <laughs> Forgone drifter, holding fast, days as shadow seeker past. Is it bravery or surrender, accepting that your world will render nothing darker than the gloom? Some four walls make round a room. Okay, that's amazing. <laughs> Between the lips, a silver spoon, a story written all too soon. The chosen dwelling of her heart, unjustly chosen to depart. Lost, her liberation lays in the center of a maze. Huh. Huh. She's it's definitely telling me things. I'm not sure I can understand them. An entity of all its own. On its surface, you may see reflected in the waters be the orchestrator pale and still pulling strings enacting will oh okay somebody has a puppet master oh this is so cool <laughs> i can't believe it free of mind unimprisoned unconfined with starry eyes she sees beyond behind our walls beneath our pond a soul untied, it's hers, it's free. Was then, is now, will ever be. Oh, that one's sad. Softly does the flower grow, all in time, and time is slow. Rest a seed within the earth, but do not rush its gentle birth. Hour by hour, day by day, tune your heart to nature's way. Hmm. That's me. I'm on a list of murder suspects. <laughs> Always thought that would be kind of cool, but it's just tedious. Falls a little short, doesn't it? Just a bit. Oh, that was so great. I guess we can meet two other people from the looks of it. Let's figure that out. Like, that's her room. Let's check that one out. And there's a big one on the right. Oh my god, I want that room. It's amazing. Look at that lamp. It's an octopus. No, it's not. It's a squid? It has six legs, not eight. Don't say it. Sextopus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, I love that. This room is just... I love it. Oh, there's the eye, like, on the... Ah, yes, a giant symbol drawn in chalk on the floor. Always a good omen. It's an eye. <laughs> I've seen one like that before. That is the bed of a vampire. <laughs> I thought vampires slept in coffins. That's just so uncomfortable and outdated. This is a vampire who needs firm support for their lower back. And that. Oh, that rose. We've seen that a before. red rose. How very traditional. Yeah. Weird. Let's assume it's a gift. There's a name for this kind of piano. Uh, you know, these ones that stand upright. Yeah. Sure there is. Sheet music. Presumably for piano. Only yes, she is. I barely a even call that music. A vibe. Even though she leaves lit candles in her room. Yeah, it's been framed though. Must be important for some reason. Ooh, is that a clue? Sheet music has been framed and is decorated with delicate old fashioned illustrations. It's roses. Oh, it's been a while. <sighs> I used to be able to read music like that. Oh, yeah. I mean, 
they would correspond to letters. I just don't remember them, but also there's like full notes and an empty one. No, that's actually a half. Uh... Nope, I can't remember. And these ones are faster because they're connected. And this one is a half tone lower or higher than whatever letter they are. So like it would be... Honestly, I don't even know what that stuff is called in English, but... It's definitely a clue for something. Various handmade posters. What do you think those symbols mean? Hopefully... Nothing. Oh, he's just so superstitious. It's a for keeping time. It's ticking. That's what it's supposed to do. It's no. supposed to be ticking. Not sure what those symbols are, though. Use the buttons to rotate all four metronome dials up to the hoop at the top. What? I see. Kind of. This does different kind of movement. Oh, things like that always mess with my head. Oh, maybe that wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. <laughs> Is it supposed to be like that? I mean, that's... Could I have done it any differently? Oh, I did not get that joke about the upright piano. That's what you get for not being a native speaker, I guess. Or just not knowing pianos. Um, like, is this the solution? Because I was just clicking random buttons. Or could the solution be different? I don't want to click anything anymore. Because I might ruin it. But I could use a confirmation that that's the thing. <laughs> Because if it is, then I wasn't even trying very hard. You're also here because you're a very great and kind person and you like me. There we go. Oh, okay, Perfect. that really was it. What happened? Little hatch unlocked in the back. Anything in there? Mm-hmm. It's a photograph. Ooh. Part of a photograph. Is that the other part of that two-person photograph? Yes, it is. Oh, hang on. Poppy used to be blonde, too? Oh, no. Poppy has blonde hair. Freya has green hair, even though it looks blonde. The rip photo shows a young girl with blonde hair and pink clothes. The girl in the photo is using a bright pink set player with matching headphones. Like, that's Poppy, right? The rest of the photo shows Fifi and Freya was hidden in Freya's room. So who ripped the photo? And who kept the rest? I mean, yeah. This is supposed to be green hair, I guess. Maybe it's just like the way my monitor is set, but it doesn't look green to me. <laughs> but Fifi is like admiring Freya. And Fifi has the book. And at the same time. That just looks a lot different to what we know of Poppy. <laughs> hmm. Oh wait, that I clicked on that. Is the bit. I thought vampires. This is a vampire who needs firm support for their. 
just a bunch of clothes on the floor. It's actually no. Looks like it's on a chair. Nothing weird maybe? about that. To you. No, to most people. Anything in the wardrobe? Dresses mostly. I never realized there are so many shades of black. Oh, there are many, and they don't always match. More handwritten sheet music. Hmm. Oh, there's a the big lock. glass door. Leads out into a garden. There's a little mechanism by the hand. Let's look at the other side. Oh. Were they like this before? Feel like they might have been like this. I don't think I. I guess we'll come back later. Yeah, let me just see. It didn't like. That wasn't a clue. I guess. Right? Nah, not a clue. We can just look at it from the other side. Oh wait, let me just make a sure I remember. There's a little mechanism by let me look at it. Okay, where are the ones? Like this, okay. One up top, three down here. Fairly certain it was like this, but I don't remember. I we'll so I'm gonna just get out on the roof from the other side. I, I'm glad I don't have to do the actual walking. It's locked. I thought we were. We are. What's Let's go. Cool. Yeah, I was right. Okay. It made a noise. I guess that was right. And the door. I still, still feel like we made some sort of. Play. Oh, so it's definitely. Right. So you have to. Do you have to unlock it from both sides for the doors to open? A big leads out into a There's garden. a little mechanism. Eh. Something happened. That must be it. Finally. Whatever's on the other side. That's interesting. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, it's a dragonfly. It's one big dragonfly. Or one very small dragon. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rose bush, growing on a little patch of bluish soil. Apart from a couple of loose petals on one side, the whole thing looks very well cared for. Loose petals. Yeah, he cut off the rose the from roses there. Are bright red too. Now, aren't roses normally that color? Exactly. So they're not weird like the rest of the plants. It's another little statue doing a really bad job of hiding in the bushes. <laughs> He's playing a lute this time. He's also well, there. they're not part of the statue, and they're not headphones. They're earmuffs. Earmuffs. A slightly weathered statue of a strange creature holding a lute. A pair of earmuffs has been placed on the head of the statue. Hmm, okay. Earmuffs. Oh, those are birds! Trees. On a roof. In a garden. Mm hmm. In a garden. On a roof. Yeah. Giant stone frog. Love it. Yeah, he's got his tongue out like he's catching snowflakes. <laughs> Except those aren't snowflakes. They're feathers. Feathers. From very weirdly colored birds, I assume. Ah, a little water feature. It's making me sleepy. Wonder how it's hooked up. I mean, magic, I assume. Statues. I don't get it. 
Why eggs? Well, either they have some special significance. I mean, there's dragons or sea snakes or something. Oh, this was just really lazy. What do you mean? An egg has got to be the easiest shape to make. You think? I haven't done much sculpting. I don't know. A little pond. It looks really, really deep for some reason. It goes all the way down. That's what the water feature in the uh, lobby. Yeah, so I figured an egg would be not an easy shape to make. Oh, yeah. What are you supposed to have for? Did something break out? Nothing anymore. Looks like somebody broke them and then never bothered to fix it. Did they keep something in their aquarium in the lobby? Oh, wait. Pond. I it did not mean to do that. Anything. Sorry. Looks like somebody broke them and then... More egg statues. I don't get it. Well, either they had oh, a sculptor was just... What do you mean? An egg has got to be the easiest shape. Yeah. Listen to the artists among us. It's not the easiest shape to make. The door into Poppy's room. So only Poppy and Fitz can get into the garden? And only at the same time. Ah, I guess so. Or if both sides are unlocked. Which is interesting. It's so relaxing. I might just stay here. <laughs> A wrong circle? Oh, shall I go finish the investigation? Oh, that'd be great. Oh, don't make me tie it, Sally. It's so relaxing. I might oh, just okay. stay here. Oh, shall I go finish oh, What's a wrong circle, Katie? Is it just like a wonky one? It's the door. Into one of only two ways to get oh, into yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So just like a little off looking. That's usually how my circles look like. Oh, birds. Lots of birds. Why does she look like a bird? And she's wearing a bird as a hat? Bird diagrams. Hand painted. They're beautiful. Someone really knows their stuff. An especially fancy cage. And it's home to three especially fancy birds. Are they perchance the birds that shed these feathers? Like an orangey one, a yellow and green one, a pink with spots, and a purple with stripes. We have a green and yellow one. That's a purple one. I don't know about you. Hmm. Interesting. Check out that butterfly. Looks evil. <laughs> wow. Judgmental. I don't like mirrors. They steal your soul. How do you get your hair so symmetrical without using a mirror? Uh, skill? I do it by weight. I can feel if one side is heavier than the other. Sure, that's one does. way to do it. It's kind of cute. There's nothing written in the book. Although someone's torn a page out of the middle. Hmm. What's those little windows down there? I think they're there for draining rainwater. Oh. Wait, rainwater? It can rain in here? Is that just a cage? Does this count as being outdoors? Oh, this is just a huge cage on the side of the tower? Yeah. No. That's weird. Doesn't matter. I feel like I'm standing in a giant bird cage. You are. A rather magnificent bush. Somewhat cruelly confined to a stone pot. There's a letter <laughs> P carved into the side. This is the points of family. They're bird cages, but the birds are coming and going freely. Is that a metaphor? Oh, it totally is. I mean, they're also stuck in a huge. Although, are they stuck because like those bars are very far apart? I feel like I'm standing in the. Oh, okay, cage. that's the quite the same one. <laughs> What is it? Huh? Sort uh, of a delicate jade, but with a little seafoam green, is that right? Sorry? Your hair, dear! Which shade do you use? It's lovely! And that shade, you're really pushing the envelope. I don't oh. like her. Thanks. 
I do what I can to offset Grimoire's beige on brown ensemble. <laughs> Detectives don't need to be brightly colored. We prefer to blend into the background. Oh, that's just no oh, fun. You're the detective. Delightful. Penny Pointer. Pleasure. Is that short for Penelope? Officially, yes, but I never can be bothered with all four syllables of it. Penelope sounds a little ostentatious coming out of the mouth, don't you think? Uh, sure. sure. Yeah. 20 something. Aquarius. Love to travel. And nearly all of my friends are birds. Travel. I'm surprised. Where to? Anywhere at all. As long as it has species worth studying. Ornithology, they call it. I call it the only thing I've ever been good at. And have you studied the birds here at Tangle Tower? <laughs> but of These course, families are so where weird. Else do you think I developed my love of the field? No matter where I go, I always find myself coming home to Tangle Tower. Because She's like a pigeon. Of the birds. Oh, no, because of him. Silly to admit, but I suppose I can't bear for us to be apart. Who? Who are you talking about? Hmm? Oh, don't you know? My fiance, dear Fitz. Oh. He's not really the traveling type, you see. Oh, no. Fitz fellow. The very one. Oh, you no. You a member of the fellow family? That's interesting. Hmm. I'm not especially interested in whatever tedious feuding goes on between our two families. Oh, there's a feud? Fitz and I find it much easier to stay out of it altogether. Uh-huh. Um. So. Fitz is engaged. Not to Poppy. I awoke early and headed down into the greenhouse to see Fitz. He's always there. Crack of dawn. Every morning like clockwork. How come? It's where he's happiest. That and he has a great deal of work to do every day. Watering, pruning, mulching, whatever that is. Do you help him with the work in the greenhouse? Oh, no, no. <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> I'd probably break something. So, you stayed with Fitz the whole day? No. In the early afternoon, he went back inside. Rather suddenly, as it happens. Did he say why? He didn't. Probably just a touch of heat stroke, the poor dear. He's more delicate than you think. What did you do after that? Let's see. I return to the aviary to feed my birds. And how many birds are you responsible for? Officially four, but in truth it's more like four. 400. Can they not feed themselves? Of course. There's only three in the big they fancy do, cage. But I think they just like the company. As do I. Oh dear. Sometime in the evening, I left the aviary and headed back towards my room. But in the hall, I spotted Uncle Pointer heading down the stairs. He was muttering something. Seemed a bit upset, the poor dear. I followed him down, but the grand hall was empty by the time I got there. Empty aside from Detective Hawkshaw, who was loitering over by the library. I don't know what it was, but she looked a little lost. I inquired about the professor, and she told me he'd gone up the fellow tower. I ran up the stairs, hoping to catch up with him, but Felix appeared and blocked my path. For some reason, he was coming out of Fitz's bedroom. I looked rather lost, too. I told him I was looking for Uncle. He suggested we look up in Flora's tower room. We could see from the hallway. The door was off its hinges. I knew then something was terribly wrong. A moment later, we were gazing down on the body of poor Freya. Uncle Pointer was there. Fitz, too. Standing over in the corner with Fifi and Poppy. What about Flora? Of course, silent as ever. Uncle suggested we should leave. Give the others some space, you know. So he and I both returned to our rooms in Pointer Tower. Yeah, they don't seem like a very good match at all. I, I don't think she even tries to engage with him. And I assume he doesn't try to engage with her either. Oh, <laughs> did you talk to Poppy already? Uh, yeah, a little bit. And did you make any notes of what she told you? Yeah, I did. Lovely. Burn them. It'll all be lies. 
Oh. Lie to us. Because that's what she does. She's a snake. Looks like one too. Don't you think it'd be rude? Fair, Penny? She started it. Huh. Interesting. We can get into Penny's room now. Now, like right now? Yeah, let's just do it. I mean, this room is very, very pretty, but I'm a bit unhappy with her right now, so I don't want to compliment her. <laughs> I was a bit mean about Poppy. That's some flower. There's something weird about it. It just feels out of place. A brightly colored flower with an unusual shape. It looks very healthy and well looked after. The soil in the pot looks fresh and moist and also an unusual blue color. Interesting. Oh yeah, they should give it to you. And I can have Poppy's room. We would be so happy. So I assume this is a gift from Fitz. But it's that's one of the flower. weird plants. Ah, weird damn it. I didn't place. mean to do that. And he gave Poppy a very, very normal rose. It's a birdhouse. Are those real birds? <laughs> they look so funny. They're using up all the perches. What if a real bird wanted to use it? Uh, swap the position of the seven birds. I feel like I'm missing a clue again. Hang I'm on. just gonna rest my brain. Let me just look at everything else if traveling cases empty all of them traveling cases oh. empty all of them a little tea set looks reasonable. one of the cups has tea in it what's in the other one bird seed <laughs> i feel like she's probably a very very lonely person oh okay so i don't have to look for another a clue little good time reading let's see romance novels and what? This one appears to be both. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. It's a birdhouse. Are those? Yes, look at it. Okay. I assume it has something to do with the position of or shape of the eyes. I feel like that makes sense. The other ones don't feel so obvious. There isn't much of a... There's nothing hidden. Oh, the beaks are also different shapes. I feel like my brain doesn't want to leap. Like clearly... Are these... These are both closed. It's like... It's interesting, like these puzzles are so varied that some are seem super obvious to me and others I'm just going, yeah, those are birds. Those are definitely birds. And they all make a sound when I'm out, when I'm picking them up. Which is fun. But uh, okay, um Right. Like the the connections feel like they have something. Oh, 
the lines. Well, it could be the family tree, it could be the house itself, but more like the family tree. Huh. You can't look at your clues in this. You have to go back out, right? Wow, I'm definitely... Okay, I'm trying to, to not be silent while I'm thinking. Um... Bird similarities. Like, the eyes are all different, but we have similar... Similar beak positions? So we have closed beaks and open beaks. Ish. That floor. Hmm. Oh, come on, brain. brain not working it's seven birds how many people is in, are in this family yeah I I'll need do to this later no I'm just I need to look at things one two three four five six seven eight ah but she's dead oh wait she's not part of the family but we're missing the uncle. So it's everyone but her? The colors, the colors. Yeah, I'm trying to... The light green could be her. It's white for maybe Flora. So, am I on the right track with thinking it re represents the family members? Or is that just completely off base? don't okay they don't relate to the family items they relate to each other okay oh my god is it like you combine them to make something no that can't be it right Actually, are we actually? Oh, is it just like? Hmm, but I don't know how to.
Is this color mixing? But I'm not... Oh, I feel like I'm still on like a... But that would be this. Like, these two colors are green. And if you combine... Oi. But that doesn't make sense. You don't... Is that it? Like, blue and yellow makes green. Green and white makes a light green. And green and red, depending on the ratio, makes brown. Or am I just completely off base? I'm definitely overthinking it. Because that's one of my many superpowers <laughs> let's not call it a flaw okay so I'm not just okay so now that I see what you mean about the colors because everything else doesn't make sense to me oh it's like the eyes all the way over here all the way over there make the middle all open yeah I can see where this is I like the colors as indicators I think everything else is a bit too much. Oh, that was it. Nice work. Thank you, Katie. Did the door open? I was definitely. Okay. Now I'll get her. A ripped piece of paper crumbled into a ball. Red flower petals were found inside. A message is angrily scrawled onto the paper. Now I'll get her. The flower petals originate from the red roses growing on the rooftop garden. Huh. Okay, why is it hidden in Penny's room? Obviously, it's about Poppy and Fitz. Duh. Or maybe not. Freya is, after all, the one that's dead. But why is it written on a piece of paper and then shoved into a birdhouse? Yeah, I think when I'm looking at it now, when I, when it's like solved, I can see the eyes and the eye shape and the beaks kind of making sense. But the colors were definitely easier for me, even as a not artist. It was just like, it took me so long to get to that point. Because, I don't know, it's just I was missing the obvious when it, while I was... This is the fancy. Too fancy. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> that might be the most pointless staircase I've ever seen. That might be it, yeah. Uh... That bed. It's like something from a fairy tale. Does it feel warm over here, or is it just me? No, you're right. Maybe the bed has some kind of heater. It's not coming from the bed. It's coming from the wall. From the wall? That bed. It's like okay. something. Does it feel warm? No, you're right. It's not coming from the bed. It's coming. What? I mean, the only thing on the other side of the wall is that water cylinder. Which is weird. Uh, last person. The professor. I think the brown was throwing me a little because it's like usually just mixing colors not in the most optimal way will get you brown so I was just not but yeah I was definitely overthinking that so hard oh I love that you know I've always wanted one of those. Me too. A mechanical solar system? What would you do with it? Look at it. I would look at it. <laughs> oh, Sally. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Earth in the middle. Sun on the outside. 
How old is this thing? <laughs> Rotate the five planets, the sun and the moon around them, the sun and the moon around the middle. Oh, this makes shadows. Now it's the question, what do we want to do with the shadows? Because I feel like... I might not have the whole picture here. Because that's not super helpful. Like, this is fun and all. Oh, wait, there's a moon too. I guess the moon also casts a bit of light. Less than the sun. <laughs> oh, wait, do we want to maybe fill out this thing? If I want to cast shadows that way, oh, this is complex. Ah, look at that. That's doing something. looks right. Uh, do we want to fill this one as well? I mean, I feel like it has to stay here. Right? Did I do it? How precise do I have to be? I feel like there's like some teeny amount of overlap. But this looks right. That's the one. Yes! Not bad. Oh, I'm feeling myself so bad. Like, this Did is so Some much fun. There's a little hatch underneath. A bunch of paper. Looks like somebody's research. Bug research. Golden beetle. Various re research notes on diagram and diagrams. Four. The golden beetle, named for its exoskeleton composed of mineral approximately 90% identical to gold has a lifespan of several years it fends off predators with a loud hiss records records of over 95 decibels how loud is that and by being completely undigestible this misted has somewhat has a somewhat spurious reputation for causing ill fortune to those that see it Okay. It makes a very loud noise. Which maybe could break things? I don't know how much 95 decibels is. Like, is there a comparison chart? How loud is a plane or a car? Or a dog? Depends on a dog, I guess. Uh, let's see. 
What else can we click on? A picture. picture. With no picture. Oh, no picture. Okay, a leaf blower is... Uh, so it's quite loud. That ceiling is so pretty. Can Sally please stop saying what I'm saying? Uh, they're clearly gizmos. A bell jar. It's empty. What do people normally keep in bell jars? I don't know. Beetles? Cheese? Other than bells, you mean? What is it? Ah, it's uh, clearly some kind of large device. Uh huh. Yeah, uh, it's too cloudy to see any stars right now. It's also I mean, time. Yeah, it's also sunlight out. What is he looking at? Shh, listen. What are we listening for? Do you hear them? The stars. They're whispering. Yes, you can hear me. Well so done. Quiet. Why is your hair shaped Yet like a roof? So loud. What are they whispering about? Are they spreading rumors about us? I would never. I shouldn't think they concern themselves with such insignificance. We are but specks of dust, you and I. Mm -hmm. Stardust. Could the speck of dust start by telling me his name? <laughs> you find yourself standing in the astronomy tower of one Professor Percival Pointer. Hmm. Frederick like Steen, Von Musel, Kolowski, third. The fellows. Well observed, my dear. Tangle Tower is something of a duality, as it happens. Uh, meaningless boundaries, really. They exist only in our minds. You're weird. Helpful. Me? Not much to say. Strictly speaking, I'm the current head of the Pointer family. And, uh -huh. of course, father to my precious poppy. Ah, uh, okay. A professional astronomer? Oh, no, that's just a little hobby. I mean, yes, I've studied the stars for over 35 years, published 17 books. <laughs> just a little hobby. Sounds yeah. like you're quite well known. You must bring in a good amount of money. Oh, dear me, no. My it's a hobby. field of research has never yielded any kind of stable financial return, nor would I expect it to. I am nothing but a humble interpreter for the cosmos, working to translate its message so that I may share it with the world. Cool. Tell the cosmos I say hi. The day began as any other, with blissful, unremarkable routine. I took my usual morning walk around the gardens. Fresh air does wonders for the mind. Did you see anyone else? Penelope and Fitz were in the greenhouse together. I didn't bother them, of course. I sat for a while besides the pond in the garden. It's a favorite spot of mine. Eventually, I returned to my tower and buried myself in my studies for the afternoon. Did you use your telescope yesterday? Once the stars began to appear, naturally. Ooh, for did he see something? I can't say. I've been known to lose hours at my telescope. Did you see anything? No actual discoveries, if that's what you mean. So you were all alone up in the astronomy tower. Must have been a while before you found out what had happened to Freya. Quite. Normally, I would be the last to find out about such a thing. But a curious tug of fate led me towards the fellow tower later that evening. What tug of fate? I was at my telescope for the majority of the evening, but at one point I returned to my desk to look something up in a reference book. I couldn't find the book I wanted, so I figured Fiona must have borrowed it. I left my tower and headed Who's down Fiona towards again? the Grand Hall. Oh, Fifi. I spotted Detective Hawkshaw coming out of the library. She looked impatient and slightly frustrated. Same as ever, then? Quite. I passed her by and went upstairs to Fiona's room. The door was locked, but I could hear shouting coming from inside. I recognized Fiona's voice as well as the voice of my own daughter. I had no desire to invade their privacy by eavesdropping, so I waited for them to finish and come out into the hall. Before I could ask about the book, Poppy grabbed my hand and took me upstairs along with Fiona. Hmm. It was apparent that both of them had already been crying about something. We went up to Flora's tower. Freya was laying on her back. Right in the middle of the room. Flora and Fitz were already there. They both looked stoic as ever. 
Felix and Penny arrived shortly after we did, and then Fiona went downstairs with Poppy for some reason. I quickly decided that I should leave also. I took Penelope with me, and we both went back to our rooms in Pointer Tower. Why did you leave so quickly? Wasn't there anything you could have done to help? Don't take this the wrong way, but the whole ordeal is fellow family business. I I'm quite sure they don't need me getting in the way at a time like that. Helpful. Didn't Hawkshaw say that he told her to get lost? Oh, now I have everyone. Hard to read, that one. But she seems to know what she's doing. She's kind of mean. <laughs> you know, I simply assumed all detectives were sharp, rigorous, and thorough. Then, of course, I met you. <laughs> Ouch. A listless soul drifting through the ether. What's wrong with her? Not sure. She's always been troubled. Comes from a dysfunctional family. Oh, rude. I'd say you could ask her about it, but uh, I think you might find that to be a bit of a dead end. He should learn to make the most of his lot in life. And he does have a lot in life. You're talking about money? Among other things, but yes, he currently hmm. has agency over a small fortune. That is, if he hasn't already squandered it, or lost it. You two don't get on? Oh no, we're the best of friends. Yeah, sounds like it. Ah yes, the heiress of Tangle Tower. Goodness knows what'll happen when she takes charge. I dare say she'll confiscate my telescope and replace it with a microscope. She doesn't seem to be the type to impress her will on others. Still, keep an eye on her. Dangerously intelligent, that one. You sound jealous. Wait, yeah. are you two science rivals? Oh no, we operate on very different wavelengths. Literally. Yeah, then why are you so mean about her? Nobody could deny her talent. She was remarkable, artistically gifted, but also highly intelligent. Those two things aren't mutually exclusive, you know. Was she ever interested in astronomy? I don't think she was. The fault may well lie with me for failing to inspire her, but I think she was captivated by more tangible things here on Earth. My daughter loved her. Fiona, too. That said, in the last year or so, more and more I begun to notice her by herself, wandering the gardens at the most peculiar hours. She huh. must have explored every inch of the grounds a hundred times over. Quite a restless spirit, I think. I'm surprised she chose to live at Tangle Tower as long as she did. She was 19. What do you want me to say? He's the gardener. He's a member of the family. Yeah, but not the Pointer family. What happened to his parents, do you know? His father, Flint, is Felix's brother. Strange man. Don't think anybody knows what happened to him, but oh, he that's... certainly doesn't live here anymore. Okay. What about his mother? Emily? I've not met her. She never actually married into the fellow family. Huh. Her relationship with Flint was, uh, it was short-lived. Okay. I don't especially want to talk about myself. Introspection often leads to vanity. Wait, huh. does it? Why don't we discuss the moons of Jupiter instead? They're I'm all named sure after people like Jupiter had sex with. 83. Yeah, we don't have time. Ah, Penelope, our resident ornithologist. Penny's your niece, is that right? At this moment in time. Wait, what? She marries the gardener. She'll she still be would niece. Yeah. But she'll depart from the world of the pointers and join the fellows. Like rats deserting a sinking ship. Oi. I feel like he's the only one who is holding a grudge. Like he would be so happy if he found out that Poppy my and Fitz Poppy, were definitely in love. Pride and joy. Exceptionally talented pianist from a young age. She. Hold on. Why is she on your list of suspects? Because, because everybody is a, a suspect. 
Oh, no. I can personally vouch for her innocence. She never... Well, the truth is, she loved Freya very dearly. If you don't mind me asking, what happened to Poppy's mother? Primrose? She was Flora's sister, a Remington by birth. The playing field has never really been even since she left. Where did she go? What? Away. She went away. That's helpful. Oh, what's happening now? That's all the statements. Let's go over them all. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Suspect statements. That's all the statements collected. Let's run through them all to see if anything doesn't add up. To see if anyone's been lying. That too. Whoops. Is it supposed to be dark? Fitz and I were up in the moonlight garden most of the afternoon. And I heard this sound. It lasted about three seconds. We thought it was coming from Flora's tower. So we went up there. Her door was locked. Right, Nobody they discovered the body. So I made Fitz kick down the door. Poppy and I went in. Freya was right there, laying on her back. I left my tower and headed down towards the Grand Hall. But... In the hall, I spotted Uncle Pointer heading down the stairs. I vacated the library, but before I could begin my ascent, Professor Pointer appeared. I didn't know what to do, so I ran downstairs to get Fifi. I heard someone heading down the stairs, just outside my room. Someone began banging on the door. I ignored it, until the someone began shouting at me. Didn't he say two people walked by, past his door. I remember that now. He said two people walked past his door. And so far, only Poppy said she did. Eventually, she let me in. Uh, I spotted Detective Hawkshaw coming out of the library. He emerged from the pointer staircase, crossed the hall, and begun up the fellow staircase. As I was passing through the front door, Penelope called out from behind me. I inquired about the professor, and she told me he'd gone up the fellow tower. I told her what had happened. She didn't believe me. She got angry. I thought she was playing a trick on me, so I punched her in the face. I recognized Fiona's voice, as well as the voice of my own daughter. We left the room, and Poppy's father was waiting outside. He followed us upstairs. I ran up the stairs, hoping to catch up with him, but Felix appeared and blocked my path. Back in the hallway, I bumped into a very concerned-looking Penelope. She was heading up the fellow tower to find Professor Pointer. Yes, so I escorted her. Poppy left the room for a while. When she came back, she had her father with her, and Fifi, too. Felix and Penny arrived shortly after we did. A moment later, we were gazing down on the body of poor Freya. Then... I took a sample of the red paint on the unfinished painting. She took me down to the library. We were in there about 15 minutes. I quickly decided that I should leave also. I took Penelope with me, and we both went back to our rooms in Pointer Tower. I wanted to go back to my room, but I realized nobody had told Detective Hawkshaw anything. An unremarkable hour passed before the gardener finally made his appearance. I think she was annoyed about being made to wait outside so long. An hour? I told her about Freya. She fell silent. That's disappointing. What is? All the statements line up with each other. They don't just line up. Some of them even seem to specifically confirm each other. Yeah. They really do. Uh, can I click here? Yes. No. This is not clickable. All the statements collect. Let's run through them all. Oh, Let's wait. See if anyone. We've done that. Okay, so this is it for now. It's a bird bath. Is that just rainwater? It looks a little weird. The birds seem to like it. They're even singing a little tune. Hmm. 
Please don't do that. What? Wind chimes. Silent wooden wind chimes. I tied the boat up to the mooring post, so now. We're loving the confidence. The ground's moist. What are often the rains here? I cannot believe how exciting this murder investigation is. Okay. I feel like there's nothing to do here. But. Okay, I guess technically I should be talking to people about other people's statements and things I found. There's this one clue that we haven't done yet. I don't think we found anything pertaining to that yet. Uh, we have a damage tape. Yeah, I've been thinking about that might actually be a good point now. We've talked to everybody, we've done some puzzles, and uh, it's after midnight. <laughs> Which might be a good sign for me to stop. You have a very, very good point. Um, yeah, but we've, we've done quite a few puzzles, and honestly this game is amazing, I love it, and I have to stop myself from continuing. Because that would be not the, in the plan. I want to continue it with you guys. Because this is really fun and also helpful. <laughs> um, honest it's so great, Katie. Thank you so much. I, I don't even... Like, it's... I can't even tell you how much I think this is awesome. This feels like a good point. Like everybody in here, I don't know if you already do, but if you don't, follow Katie. Katie's an amazing artist and does fun little cute and relaxing streams, so you should do that. Yes, it does do that. Oh, thank you for the follow. Uh, honestly, it's been, it's been such a fun time. And it's really hard to stop. But sleep is kind of an important thing. And we're trying to be healthy and take care of ourselves and each other. Each other. Um, I just remembered that I wrote a little thing on how to end my streams because I get rambly and uh, nothing makes sense anymore, but I don't <laughs> remember what I wrote down, I think. Let me see if I can find it. It was just a little thing. Uh, but yeah, um, I did find it. Uh, hang on, actually, that's what the thing is for the ending screen okay <laughs> tell me if that's super cringy or not but uh, thank you for joining me on this little adventure today you were excellent buddies on this quest uh, until next time take care of yourselves take care of each other and get yourselves a little treat if you want you deserve it goodbye <laughs> felt a little cringy but honestly it's kind of the vibe i'll see you next time <laughs>